Here are our FAPSB Motorsport, and we're going to give you a video in, uh, installation instructions of our 996 uh, Grand Am Coney Cup style uh, air intake for all Porsche 996s work uh, manufactured worldwide. And the first stage in doing this installation is to remove the factory air box. And what you do is you have to loosen this hose clamp, take it off, loosen this 13 millimeter nut, and unclip the mass airflow sensor and, and lift this oil pipe out of the way and you can take the air box out. Rob will demonstrate that to you. A step in doing the fab speed uh, cup air intake for the 996 cars worldwide is you have to remove these, this black painted bracket on the uh, air pump. This is an air injection pump that pumps fresh air into your engine and we made this new stainless steel bracket and there are five 10 millimeter nuts on here. You remove all these nuts, we have them loose now, and then you unplug this, wire, uh, this wiring connector and when you do that this pump will bolt to this um, precision stainless steel bracket and it sits the pump back further in the chassis real simple and that way our cone air filter can sit right here and get cold air right from outside the engine bay yeah, but you, you, can almost, you can always cut that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as you can see, we removed the black uh, steel uh, Porsche bracket holding the air pump on all, all 996s made worldwide. Next step is uh, take that same 10 millimeter socket, and here's a 13 millimeter nut on the engine mount. Remove that, uh, that bolt and that bolt, and then put those aside, and then take this new precision bracket, and then use the existing hardware and bolt the stainless steel uh, bracket to the factory air pump and then if this was bolted together you push this bracket back and then you put the 10 millimeter nut through the stainless bracket and then the, um, the 13 millimeter bolt back through the uh, engine mount snap in the wire connector and then your air pumps completely out of the way and we'll work All the systems always got jacked up. We now have our new stainless steel bracket on the 996. We tighten up the four 10 millimeter nuts and to the air pump. And then you tighten up the 10 millimeter nut here that holds the coolant reservoir. Tighten up all these. You tighten up the 10 millimeter nut here. And then the, um, the engine uh, mount, tighten up the 13, plug in the wiring connector. Now the uh, air pump's out of the way. The next step in doing the Fabspeed Cup air intake is uh, down here you can see a bolt right here. We've actually loosened that. This is an existing bolt on the block just above the middle of this pulley. And then this stainless steel support rod goes in there. And you use that bolt, put the support rod in there, and then tighten that up. That's a 10 millimeter nut. Now that we have this support tube in position, leave this bolt just slightly loose at first so that it can that it can move around a little bit so now we take our heat shield and we lower it into position lining up the two rubber bushings into the holes and then we reach back in the support tube and we line that up to make sure it comes through as you can see it's a little loose this way and that we'll line it up so it looks like it's lined up on the center line don't move it. Remove the heat shield and then carefully tighten it in position. So now we know that the support tube is on center. Now we're lowering the heat shield back into position. The buttons go into the hole and our push rod is in the center of this through hole. The next thing we need to do is to attach this heat shield support. We'll begin by putting the 
the bolt and washer through into this hole in the block right here. That's a factory mounting point. We'll begin by putting that in and we won't tighten it, we'll leave it loose. Okay, with that cinch down finger tight, this can still move around. We'll take the button head screw with the washer and then we've got a nylock nut that'll go on the back. That goes through the hole and we tighten that down. Now we can tighten this bolt and the bolt that goes into the engine block. Everything will be in position. Next we're going to take our silicone hose coupling and put it on our throttle body here. It's got a step machined in it, it's real simple, you just slide it on into position until it hits that shoulder. We'll take, oops, we'll take our we'll take our hose clamp, make sure it looks nice and parallel and straight, hold it in position and tighten it down in position. So with this screw slightly loose, we can now put the hose clamp over the silicone connector, just loosely, and then we can line this up and uh, plug our hose, plug our tube in over our silicone connector. I'm gonna loosen that up a little. It doesn't need to be tight at all when we're starting. And then just press it into position. And at the same time, this is loose. This is our uh, oil fill uh, bracket. That can be left loose for right now. We're just making sure that it looks like our support tube is somewhat in the center. Everything is still loose. Now we can test fit our air filter. We'll slide that on the hose until it comes up against a stop. That's where our air filter bottoms out, and that's perfect. Now we can start tightening things into position. First, we'll start with our hose at the throttle body. Line up your hose clamp so it looks really nice and parallel. Good. And then we're going to tighten this bolt in the back where our support rod matches up with the tube. Great. With that cinched up, we're now ready to tighten up the, uh, the hose clamp on our filter. does not have to be overly tight. You can just cinch that up and you can make sure and see that uh, the filter itself isn't touching anything. There's no rubbing. Now remember we left this guy loose here. This can be tightened into position. You'll see it's going to snap in like that. So just eyeball it. Great, cinch up on the button head screw and your oil fill snaps into place and you're set. Now we're going to install the mass air sensor probe. Make sure your o-ring is in good shape, which this is of course. You just slide it into position. It can only go in one way. Put your two button head screws in and tighten it down. Now that we've tightened the mass air sensor into position, we reconnect, it just snaps in place, make sure it is snapped all the way on. And then to uh, tidy up our um, 
wiring harness, we'll take some tie racks. And I like to tie them to these various hoses. So. I put a couple on this hose here. Just leave them loose at first until you have everything lined up where you want it. And I like one down here too. Just keeps the wires nice and neat, keeps them from moving around. So, cinch it up. You still have a little loose curve to that wire. Here. Don't forget to trim it off nice and flush, do a nice even job. You don't want any little sharp edges hanging off. And there's your complete installation.